Okay, welcome back. This is Neo from Neo Custom Media here to help you out with your projects. Okay, as per a few comments that I have gotten on a certain video that I uploaded, and that was for free fonts, uh, I see that some people were having some difficulty in finding it in, uh, in Premiere Pro. They were able to download the fonts, and you may have this problem, download the fonts and see that you find them in Photoshop and in After Effects, but you don't find them in Premiere. And the reason is, I think, because a lot of people don't associate customized fonts with Premiere Pro. I think it's just editing, maybe adding some transitions, maybe adding some plain text or whatever. But whatever has text has the option to have text and fonts all pull from the same place that all the other programs get it. So you even have, if you download the fonts into your computer, if you have a program like Microsoft Word, well then those fonts are gonna be downloaded into Microsoft Word. Um, so, uh, you know, I'll show you right here real quick. Um, so if I type, you know, if I type my name, And um, okay, gives me the default, you know. But if I were to go right here, you can see I have customized fonts. These fonts do not come with Acid Label. Um, you see that doesn't come with with the um, you know with Microsoft Word. So you could definitely, you know, customize your documents. If you got, you know, if you're writing something and you want to do a customized uh, letterhead or something, you know, boom, there you go. Okay, moving on. Um, let's get back to Premiere Pro. Okay, so here is Premiere Pro. Now I got a project already open. If you are familiar with the programs, you know how to open up a project. I'm not going to get into that. So let's start with the new title. Okay. Click the title, boom. So we have a new title. Now these down here are not your fonts. These are your styles, okay? So if you were to you know, use one of these, then it would enable you to, you know, to use those styles. But what we're gonna do is use some custom fonts that we have downloaded, okay? So here we go. So just for the sake of uh, being able to see it a little bit better, I'm going to add a background real fast. Um, and I'm going to, you know, change the color to like an off-white. Or let's just add the background right there. Okay. So here we go. I'm going to center it. You can center it over here. Um, but first you have to click on the font and then you can click that will center it horizontally. And this will, well, vertically, and this will center it horizontally. Okay. As you can see right off the bat, my font already that comes up is the first font on my list, which is one that I downloaded called 28 Days Later. It's from, a, um, I believe that's from a, yeah, it's from a film. Um, that's their style of font. But over here, I have a, all the fonts that are in my Photoshop are also in here. I mean, this stuff did not come with, you know, the program, you know, so I can, uh, you know, change that to, uh, you know, you know, red color and there we go. Um, so I think the issue was that people didn't know where to where to look and right off the bat so first of all first and foremost what you have to do is click on the type tool click on the type tool click on the screen and type there you go automatic save okay moving on so there's a type tool so we're gonna align that and now you see obviously none of these fonts and it, okay, good way to scroll through the fonts that you guys to click on it. When you see all the, the boxes around it, that's when you know you're clicked on the font. And click over here, and you see a highlight. You can either press the arrow key down, or if you have a wheel on your mouse, you can scroll up or down with the wheel. And you can see all the fonts that you got downloaded, that you downloaded into your Premiere, and into your After Effects, and into wait, into your After Effects, Photoshop, and into your Premiere. So. Um, so yeah, pretty much, I mean, that's it. There's all your fonts. Again, um, click the type tool, type whatever you want to type, and then click over here 
to um, your properties and your font family. And you could change the width of the font. Um, you could change, you know, the position of the font, the height. You know, you can really start to customize it. You can change the rotation. Um, you know, you could change the color, turn it to a gradient, a linear gradient, and then, uh, you know, change the colors. You know, make it kind of lighter on top and then darker on the bottom. So that kind of looks, you know, a little customized. You know, add a little shadow real fast. Um, like a red shadow, or darker red shadow or something. Uh, you know, well, you, you know, you get the, you, you, you get the, um, you get the idea. So... Let's just go back. Let's change that real fast. Let's change the shadow. You got in order to access the properties of it. You got to click the arrow, and then you know that drops down all the options, and you know make a cool shadow, and then you can add a background, and then turn that background to white, and you can you know, well, you get the idea. So there's your uh, font, and you could add it you know before your video. And you could add a transition. There it is. Let's make sure this is centered. Let's click on it. It's way off. Okay. So there it is. Where's our font at? What happened? Seems that we had a glitch. Or I accidentally must have clicked on one of these fonts. So let's do this. There we go. Uh, control Z undo, undoes and then Control Shift Z redoes. So that's how we did that. Let's click back on that. We got that. We can see it's not centered. It's not centered up at that line. We want this box to be centered up at that line. So we're going to click on that and click on that. Nice and centered. Um, you know. And there you go. So. There's the answer to your question. It is in Premiere Pro, it is in After Effects, and it is in Photoshop and many other programs that you have. You just got to check, see if they're there. Uh, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them uh, in the comment section, and I will be happy to help you out.